Isolation Nation, welcome to the Social Distancing Social Club. I'm Ben Glebe, and I'm just one leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine. This is a good day for America, or is it? I don't know. There's a vote happening soon. I don't know anything about it, but we'll see what, how it shakes down. It's not going to be probably great, but maybe I have hope. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm just feeling very American right now. I believe in this country. I have <laughs> hope. And I believe even more than in this country, in a man who is the third leg, second leg of the four, five, or six-legged tripod. It's Steve Hofstetter, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello. Coming to you from my new place in Pittsburgh. That's not true. This is just a picture. I haven't moved in yet. But hello, everybody. What's up, Steve? It's fucking Fan Fridays. It is fucking Fan Fridays. Uh, if you want to support the show, please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at SDSCshow.com. Of course, you can Super Chat on the YouTube. And oh, wait, I forgot to shave. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Chris Bowers joins wow. us, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Bowers. Oh, wow. You're on. 
<laughs> He's not muted. There we are. There we are. Uh, I had my microphone off. Uh, I love Ben that you're dressed like a guy who would vote no against impeachment. That's fun. And uh, <laughs> I believe we are all together now. We're going to be ch- we're we're all the same people, and we no. need to embrace each other. Because Ben actually is dressed like a guy who would vote yes for impeachment, because that way it wasn't his fault that he stormed the Capitol. <laughs> but Steve, we know that's a that's a virtual oh. background because there's not snow in the yard. So welcome to Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. This is you didn't, this, have, to, this, you didn't this have to tell is... us it wasn't sunny in Pittsburgh outside your window. So uh, yeah. Rachel's here. How you doing, Rachel? <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, Rachel, where did Rachel go? I'm right here. How you doing? How's, how's your tech today? What's going I don't know. on? It's not something I, I'm just. It's not spotlighting. I, I don't know. I can't tell. No. What, what, watch the beginning on gallery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have it on speaker. Yeah, watch the beginning on gallery. That way we see us all well. Oh, anyway, Rachel, thanks for that. Uh, thanks for that shot. At my hometown, the place that I have immense pride to be from, <laughs> being here like eight hours. How was yeah. your traveling? How, yeah, was, how, all was, the, how was all that? Oh my God, it's so well. Everybody is so respectful of science. It's really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fantastic. I, w- I will say, uh, first of all, it's really nice that uh, LAX has all the announcement that they don't enforce. Like, it's really nice that they just routinely are like, you must wear a mask or you might be banned from traveling forever. But if you walk by us and are, say, a pilot, we don't care. Yeah. Uh, I, I, when I've traveled, I've, I, I, everyone in the airport has masks on. I haven't seen anybody, not a single person in any airport I've been in the last four months that had, didn't have a mask on. Are you serious? Maybe, maybe there, it's just you. Maybe people just don't want to wear masks around you. you know? <laughs> we're just trying to murder you specifically. Well, I mean, there were... One of those guys, Lenny Dykstra, is that what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> there were a bunch of masks on. They, they just had them on their chin. So that doesn't really count. There were a bunch of uh, chin diaper people. But uh, my my favorite moment, because I was like, as I walked by people who didn't have a mask, I would just be like, like if someone had it, you know, off their nose or whatever, I would give them the benefit of the doubt and just be like, hey, your mask fell, instead of being like, hey, you fucking idiot. Um, but well, if you know you what? get murdered, you have to stop calling people out on this shit. Someone's going yeah. to kill you. You got to fucking quit it, dude. I'm scared hey, for you. Seriously. In an airport, I felt safer. Nah, mm-hmm. someone's gonna punch you in your face and get thrown out of an airport at some point. It's, it's very possible, but at the same time, first of all, the publicity would be fantastic. But also, the there there was one guy who like he was just sitting there without a mask. He was just sitting there wearing it on his neck, and uh, and I just go, "Hey man, put your mask on," and he like rolls his eyes and then looks over at me, and I'm towering over him, and he goes. <laughs> so you do it to feel tough. You feel to be like so. You're like bullying people in the right way now. Is what you're saying? That's you, oh, your whole life. You've wanted to bully people. That was, that's my brand. <laughs> yeah. Bully, bullying for good. That's that's. Oh, I need that. <laughs> bullying for good. Follow me. Bullying at, for good is a t-shirt. Good. Bullying for t- good is a t-shirt or definitely a motivational spe- uh, motivational series we could do. <laughs> Hell yeah. Over banned for bowling for soup. <laughs> hey, I don't I can explain Holding to you the reason why people wear the masks under their chin in their defense is because that's the kind of people that usually talk down to people. So it catches <laughs> it, it it was amazing. There was actually one gate agent in Detroit, and by the way, in Detroit, I think I only saw one or two people without the mask. In LA, it was dozens. Um but in you know, in Detroit it was actually much better, but they announced had the uh like the person reading the announcement she could not read she was stumbling over everything and then at the point of the mask she goes make sure the mask covers your your mouth or nose and she like stressed or i'm like no that word's and miss that word is and and it's a very very different word well they all they always make the person that's the least the, the least easy to understand the person that makes all the announcements in the airplane that's the one that always drives me crazy like it, you never understand it. <laughs> but i have a hard time understanding people sometimes anyway uh we had a fun overnight game we had a fun overnight game uh actually this is one of my favorite ones you guys killed the overnight game if you haven't been seen it today there's a bunch of them i couldn't get to but it was it was animal a job and they the people fucking killed it uh so shannon savage had uh, a pair of seagull <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they're great. I, I have a bunch of them because they're great. But go uh, hashtag a pair uh, of seagulls. A pair of seagulls could have could have done a better job than Trump's lawyer. <laughs> probably, yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> Two guys whose last name are Seagull. 
<laughs> Jeremy Day had uh, Al Litigator. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle L uh, took it a different direction and had Legal Secretariat, which I thought was great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Barrel had Open Heart Sturgeon. Yeah. <laughs> Bag Nasty had musician and then had a picture of a cow playing the drums. That was really uh, cool. wow. Z Bunster had head the hedgehog fund manager. High <laughs> risk investments look adorable. And finally, my favorite, Weird Rao had hippopotamus. <laughs> <laughs> ah damn that's a good game that oh, is a hashtag great. to see the rest of them hashtag sdsc game so oh, uh it's yeah. we, it, it we hit should. latest and we'll see all there's but there's like 40 and they're all great there's a I, there's like 15 i couldn't pick they were really good so nice to work on the game everybody this yeah, week. yeah do, doing an animal or something is a great idea that's a great idea for a game that is that's a great that, idea yeah now now we haven't gotten to it yet we're only 205 episodes in so you know like we haven't gotten through it there <laughs> uh today's game by the way is animal uh... a job <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no 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 ben it's animal a profession we're being respectful here we're not gonna sorry. i'm so sorry <laughs> so uh today's game is actually booba band so what you do is you take the name of a band or a singer or anything like that and uh and you put uh an animal or an animal. Fuck. You put. <laughs> this is how stupid, by the way, we can be. Is we just played a game. We just read answers from a game called Animal, a profession, and then you announced Booba Band, and I felt so much dumber than the people who came up with Animal, a profession. I'm like, God, I wish we were that level of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> or well, boob in a band, anyway. So you take the name of a band or a musical artist, and you put the word boob or any form of the word boob. Uh, into it. So, for instance, here's a great one that Taylor suggested. Booba Stank. That was... Uh, <laughs> so I literally just wrote down Booba Stank. That is a fucking great one. <laughs> There's others as well. For instance, uh, Tit the Wet Sprocket. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Or, or uh, one of my favorite 90s artists, uh, Booby and the Blowfish. Anyway, take... <laughs> you could do the famous rapper, Ice Boob. There's a lot here. There's a whole... Hootie, Hootie and the Boobfish, that'd be fun. <laughs> what about uh, Stevie... Wonder what boobs look like. <laughs> oh. oh, that's just wrong. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, these were good. Anyway. I don't think it's offensive to, I'll defend you on this, Rachel, because I got the same sound for my Stevie Wonder joke. It's not offensive to point out the blind people can't see. We're just oh, I thought she was saying that I'm alone in quarantine. No, 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 Stevie Wonder's what boobs look like. Oh, I get it. <laughs> way. All right, all right. I mean, you have a phone with a camera on it, right? I'm sure you've seen some boobs. Uh, look, after, after <laughs> 11 months of being made fun of for the same thing, I just assumed it was still that. That's what I assumed. Oh, look, Steve hasn't seen boobs long before the pandemic. It's since he and Rachel dated. Damn it. Oh. I, I see two as my co-hosts right now. Oh, 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 slam on Rachel that and was Bowers. A pretty good burn. Oh, and Rachel and Bowers, so good, dude. Hey, left boob, right boob, and one in between us must be the sternum. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, uh, could still be dick. penis. Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen. It could still be that. penis. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> in the game, here's the way you do it. If you want to participate in the game, uh, put your entry in. Uh, you can comment on any of our live streams, our Twitch, our Twitter, our Facebook, or our YouTube. But if you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show as well as having a much better chance of being read on air make sure to throw yours in with a tip at least five bucks of a super chat a venmo or a paypal um uh, and uh, the front row as always gets up to three for free all right uh speaking of that front row ben let's do it i love that idea so much thank you for the offer <laughs> <laughs> the old front row turn on your cameras you're already doing it Thank you for joining us, everybody. It's fucking Fan Fridays, and we start with Jason yes. Boublish. <laughs> <laughs> we got Frank Notar. Oh, look at those boobs. <laughs> we got Not your boobs, Dana, Frank. <laughs> Dana Z. Boobster. <laughs> we got Patrick Yokely. Oakland at those boobs over there. <laughs> 
Oakland. Oh, Oakland's on a word. LJ Mutts and Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say yodeling? <laughs> oh, ogling. Oh, ogling. Okay, yeah. Yo, clean boobs. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Boob Clark is here with us, everybody. <laughs> Technic Titty Tit is with us. <laughs> we got we got Shannon Boob. I mean Shannon Burke here with us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear God! Falls <laughs> on that rooster. That's crazy. <laughs> Why? By the way, that Beyond Sausage makes me not want to be a vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what, what that's what it is, Steve. You're saying me? that makes you hungry for meat, huh, Steve? <laughs> I don't want fake dips. I want the real ones. I get what you're saying. <laughs> Jennifer Story's with us. I don't know what that backdrop is. I don't want to know. You don't want to know the story behind it? No, really. Oh. No. I apologize. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Oh my God! We got Josepha Snyder with us, everybody. Nice. I like the sparkly boob. hat. Looks good. Boob. Oh, yeah. And a boob quilt behind you. Is that a quilt of boobs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> just a just a quilt, Ben. At this point, Ben. At this point, Ben is uh, like those cartoon guy. Like when you're really hungry in a cartoon, and like every every person is a turkey. Like that's what he's doing. With boobs. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ben's one of those guys that he like fights it, fights it, fights it, and then hundred percent in, a thousand percent. I'm gonna do it every single time. I'm gonna do a boob joke. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to do boob jokes. It's gross. But now here we're gonna do all boob jokes. I like. It. <laughs> well, I'm a man who commits. I either do or I don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, we know. I like that. Uh, Frank Berman, the boob man, is here. <laughs> <laughs> Diddy Corbin is with us. <laughs> Dank Nostal with that yellow boob fever in the background. We got Chanda's here. Hello. I don't have a boob pun for that. Hello, Abby. <laughs> Chanda boob pun. <laughs> we got Cass with us. Nice. I'm hoping that you own a lot of those Steve Hofstetter tank tops. I own How many? How many do you own? I also own a laundry machine. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Take that, Ben. <laughs> That's why Ben is wearing that Nebraska shirt. He's out of the other. Hundred percent true. We got Ray Benjamin joining us. Hello, Ray. Hello. Ray boob jamming. We got <laughs> we got Ray Popest here oh. with us. Hey Ray. We got Anna Boob. <laughs> we got Wendy Peterson. Oh wow! <laughs> All right, nice. I, like I like it. Well, game's <laughs> over. <laughs> wow. That's solid. We got Brian O'Connor. We got Judy Bonello. Hello, we got Miguel Trevino in the house. Hello. We got Andrew. Oh my God, look at those boobs. Oh, look what he's drinking from, Ben. Describe it. <laughs> we got Miguel Trevino. <laughs> I love it. We got, we got Allison West in the house. Is that chocolate milk you're drinking there, Andrew? That'd be fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go west, boob man. <laughs> We've got Elizabeth F in the house. Love your hair, Elizabeth. Yeah, it looks great. It's uh, got, the color is yeah, blue. That's, awesome. that's pretty <laughs> awesome. We got Zara B in the house today. B stands for boob. <laughs> Hello, Zara. We got Boob Thompson. I mean, Bill Thompson. Nice. Boob background. Pretend Dave Adler in the house. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dave Kipton said he uh, and said he uh, gave his ticket to someone today because he couldn't make it. There you go. I love that. And if, and and let me show you a strange thing here. So we've got I don't know what baby that is in the background. When you only drink <laughs> artisanal milk areolas, local areolas. <laughs> why does that baby? It's a hipster look, baby, Ben. It's a hipster baby. I get it, but why does that baby look so much like Andrew O? What is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> ah, there you go. I love it. 
<laughs> oh, that's hilarious. We got Jan Skittles Johnson in the house. Woo! Love it. And we got uh, Titmothy Tam in the house with Hungry for Nipple. <laughs> homemade. Oh, look at that. Homemade <laughs> shirt. He dazzled the shirt. Just for Bowers. Just for Bowers. Wow. Oh, wow. Goof <laughs> on <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh and I, I gotta say, Pam, you'd have been stopped at the airport more than I was. <laughs> this will never leave the house. This I just want to let everyone know I'm not okay right now. <laughs> <laughs> just cover that shirt with that great pillow you got there because. <laughs> oh my god! That's oh, it's so a shirt. Cool. Mad ones. Love that. Love that. Very nice. That is the video front row, everybody. Thank you for joining hey, us. Let me ask a question, Ben. Speaking of Mad Ones, have you have you thrown away the broken Mad Ones mug yet, or is that still somewhere in your in your office in a bag? This was a conversation Carmela and I had two days ago. She said we can throw away the broken Mad Ones mug yet now, right? You've used it twice for a joke, and I said, mm, I think I could see myself using it in like a video. And so, so no, can... the answer is it's still on your desk. No, 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 no. I think I, I actually side with Ben on this one. I think if there's ever an audition for hoarders, I think in a video would be a perfect place to put that mug. <laughs> well, you know, it's, a cool, it's cool to have a mug that's just in two pieces and you just get to have it in two pieces. It's only in two pieces? Why don't you just glue it? <laughs> well, there's... So it's in many pieces. There's shards in the bottom and sides that are missing, but the facade in the front is... Like, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ben, that mug is as broken as this show. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think, no, the mug's more broken than this show. I'm not going to get that. <laughs> oh, no, I just meant that, that we, we're in four pieces as well. The, the, I'll oh, I see. Okay, and there's some shards at the bottom. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I get it. And, there's, and there's no ass. Yeah, and, and Ben has thought of throwing it away. It's because you're not getting any ass, Ben. Doesn't mean there's no ass for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> At risk of sharing too much, uh, things have been turning a leaf lately, okay? Oh, oh, lately implies a couple different times, right? I, I like that, okay. Is that why you're wearing leaves on your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> so she can't All he had to do was run out of clothes. I, no, no, Ben looks like he had to get dressed quickly, so nice work, Ben. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a planned outfit. That's not a... Carmel apparently likes guys with the opposite style of what I normally choose, so I'm trying to mix it up, you know? <laughs> no, the only the only way, uh, the only person who would plan an outfit like that is someone who chartered a private jet to D.C. on January 6th. That... True. Well, let's just say, uh, recent last few days, I've stormed my own private capital. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Nobody knows. No. Nobody knows but... It's really strange to have an entire group of people dead silent. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. When you and Carmel were together, there was a group of people watching that were dead silent? <laughs> oh, I misunderstood. Sorry, I misunderstood. That's on me. That's on me. We've got Miguel Trevino. <laughs> uh, and I just want to announce, too, that uh, for our Patreon, for the entire Patreon hang, I used to be sent an email on the Patreon app. And so for those of you, we're having it on Tuesday, um, 1 p.m. Pacific time before SDSC. So that's when all 109 of you are invited to come hang out. And if you join the Patreon, you can, before then, you can come do it. And then the VIP hang will be later on in the month. Also, Bowers, uh, Bowers' connection just froze. He said he'll be right back. <laughs> Apparently, his, uh, his internet couldn't take the idea that Ben was getting some. So, <laughs> Lady is now Bowers. <laughs> we got a couple of great covers today. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you introduced them with the first name is Ariola. Ariola. <laughs> uh, I, I will say, by the way, it, it was interesting. So I, ha I have not flown. I used to fly constantly. Um, and I have not flown in 11 months and it was very weird for me to be back in an airport. And part of me was like, all right, I don't know how it works now. I know a lot of things have changed. And also it was the first time I was flying with a dog that was not, uh, taking, you know, the loophole of the ESA. Cause like the emotional support animal, I never had one, but I told them I did and it was fine. Then I got to go free, but that's, it, that's done now. Those rules are gone. So I had, uh, I had Milton with me in, in his, in his carrying case and I go to the TSA and I was like, 
hey, you know, how do I how do I do this? Do I just put the carrying case on the like on the conveyor belt or do I walk it with me? And so they go, oh, no, you just walk through with it. And I go, okay. So I start to walk through with it. And he goes, no, 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 you put it on the conveyor belt. I was like, what? <laughs> what now? And he was like, yeah, put it on the conveyor belt. So I started to put it on the conveyor belt. And he goes, no, 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 take the dog out and walk through it. I was like, what are you? I have not missed this at all. I have not missed any part of this. I think they meant take the dog through the metal detector with you and then put the carrier on the conveyor belt. Yeah, I eventually figured that out. But those aren't the words they said is the problem. <laughs> Fair enough, but I think probably not the best idea to put your dog through an X-ray machine. I'm just thinking. Well, I didn't think that that was what was supposed to that I was supposed to do, but then he said I was supposed to do that, and I was like, all right, I guess I'm supposed to do that. And then you thought that people when people bring dogs are not emotional support animals. They they put them through heavy amounts of radiation every time they fly. They told me I couldn't take him out of the case when I when I like talked to the clerk about it. Also, I love that you call it a carrying case, like it's for a like it's for a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> He's small. It's a little, yeah, like what happened? I took the carrying case out of my pocket and I showed them. I was like, look, I'm a dog. Go back in. One yeah. of those neoprene skin tight cases. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, what I did is I just bought an extra uh, external hard drive case and I just use it for Milton. So. You're suggesting, Ben, that Milton looks like the gimp? Is that what you're saying? He has a little zipper mask. <laughs> Oh that is such a weird experience. You sounded like all echoey, and it, it was like like, like <laughs> ghost Bowers. Why like still saying Bowers stuff? Are you suggesting it was like the Gimp? <laughs> so weird. You're not on your mic, Bow. Not on my mic. What's happening? It's crazy. Sounds like you're in the airport right now. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they did. They, they did make me take Bowers out of the case, though. How's that? <laughs> How's that yeah, I was I was in a neoprene case, but my internet shut down, so I apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look good in the rolls. So we had tech next. So this was the most exciting sound check that you ever missed. <laughs> Him too, because he was fucking. Oh, he got his cameras off. Um, Frankie Bourbon said, rest in peace to Red Flanders, Steve Wen Shiva. <laughs> yeah if uh sitting shiva would be seven days which would be as many days as i had that stupid mustache i was so happy shaving that damn thing off by the way like i i miss i miss the scruff that i usually have but like i i just to get rid of it i had to go all clean shaven and i did the thing that like everybody does this i think correct me if i'm wrong but for those of us who grow facial hair um, you shave, as you shave it, you shave it in different shapes, right? Just to be like, oh, here, here. Yeah, like Rachel, you do the goatee first, you know. So. <laughs> I've, I've literally only grown a beard once, Steve, and I've never shaved it. So I don't, I'm not kidding. I'm not, I grew a beard once in my life, and that was 10 years ago, and I'm not touching it after that. So okay, Ben but and the audience, right. back me up on this. <laughs> When you let when you let the beard grow, as you shave it, like, do you do the thing where like, oh, wonder what I would look like with sideburns, wonder what I would look like with a goatee, etc. You do that, right? The exactly. problem is when you have a mustache and you do that, the only thing you can do is be like, oh, wonder what I'd look like as Hitler. Like that's the only. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did, I actually did two oh, things. Oh no, Patrick. So first, first I shaved it down to that, and that was ridiculous. And then I decided, <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be fun? And I just shaved this part, so I just had a stripe here and a stripe here. Nice. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I wish if if I didn't if I didn't know that I was going to keep the mask on the whole time at the airport, like it was just regular times, I absolutely would have gone to the airport that way just to see what the reaction was. Where are the photos? What? Where are the photos? Oh, I'm not. No, that's I, not. I, I, I will <laughs> say if anybody could change around the meaning of the Hitler mustache, it would be a redheaded Jewish guy. Like that would be a perfect. <laughs> you could take like, it we're back. taking it you back. Could take it back. It'd be great. This is our. It's the Hitler stash. The ER is the problem. It's the Hitler. <laughs> no hard R. <laughs> uh, Hitler, please. Hitler, please. <laughs> and we've been canceled. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I just got sunburn off of that joke. I just had a moment where I was like, am I gonna draw Steve as Hitler? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Is the answer. We should do a uh, look at Leedy's Google history for this week. Kind of like some funny. Ones. Oh, we should do it. The yeah. whole week? Because I've been Googling some other stuff too. So yep, the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> the whole week. <laughs> Tell us like maybe the top three craziest things that you Google. Up seven. I'll take Up a look because oh boy, I'm sure it's not been good. 
I got also, commissioned <laughs> by a comedian recently, and that comedian's commission was not PG, so I'm sure I've got some bad stuff in there. What? Wait, somebody had to draw them naked? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you want to know what I was Wait, commissioned you, to make, and I'll Titanic? go find it? Wait. Wait, yeah. I Titanic. will tell you what happened. Did you Titanic Mike Paramore? Is that what's happening right now? Please tell us. No. Draw me like one no. of your French comedians. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So a personal hero of mine, Daniel Sloss, uh, I've been drawing his streams recently and we've been playing some video games together. So at the end of one of his streams, he was really drunk and he was like, Lady, before you go, I'm not going to do the accent. I thought about it for a second. Before you go. I want you to draw Gareth, another comedian, and, and me behind him just fucking nailing him while he's still DMing like a very good dungeon master. And all of his friends are watching us, and I want you to make him loving it. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I just want to point out, if, if anyone watching right now uh, wants to commission Leedy for artwork, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was something you could Google? I I need to Google the Yeah, she found I'm she found gonna... Daniel's prom picture. And I'm not even gonna tell you what I had to Google because it should gay be gay sex. Is that what you Google? <laughs> to gay sex? That... No, she Googled people watching while happy. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll go find it and I will have it ready for you guys. I'll have to find it first. Thank you. I've seen it. It's a doozy. Also, Lady. Oh, uh, Lady's gone. I just wanted to tell Lady that if she definitely also should not draw Steven Hitler. Oh, there you are, Lady. Don't draw Steven Hitler, but if you do, put boobs on him and call him Steve Hoff's Titler. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> so just, draw, just draw one and and say half Stitler. Oh <laughs> But it's half Stitler with an A, not an E. Yeah. <laughs> now, God, I gotta start having people call me half Stetta. That's awful. Is that a song? No. Mama no, half Stetta. Here come the half Stetta. Here come the. What is happening? Uh, can we get a new countdown of how many people oh. we can upset? No, I'm just uh, Rachel, do we have anything? I got else a few things in? to say to little people. Listen up, yeah. all right? <laughs> yes, we had um, Dana uh, tip the show two hundred bucks oh, and said, wow. "Happy Fuck It Friday." This is in memory of my dad, whose birthday is today. And no, Steve, it's not Abraham Lincoln. I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dana. As Thank a, you, as Dana. With the Dead Dad Club, I get it. <laughs> Ab absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dana. Yep. Um, that's it. Well, All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, do we have a two-thirds and a lie? Somebody, we got we that. We do. We've got Abby. All right. Let's do this. Abby. All right. Exciting. Hello. 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 I like the roaring fire behind you. Is that a filter? Or is that real? This is real. Um, it is really cold here. It's about 10 degrees outside, and my furnace is not keeping up with the temperature, so I'm spending a lot of time in front of my fireplace right that now. That one's the truth. That one's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Also, also, Steve, that's foreshadowing now that you live in Pittsburgh, so I hope you have a fireplace. Oh, anyway. I, 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 have, I, I will have two that are both sealed up. So What? Uh, Why? I, I could put, like, an electric log... Or something. <laughs> like, was there functions. a bunch of like church shit left behind? Like, there are like a bunch of Bibles and like hymn books and shit mm. at were at the at the Steel City. No, Park. it hasn't been a church in like ten years. Oh, okay. Why yeah. are your fireplaces sealed up? I didn't do it. <laughs> you were afraid of fire, like it was a bicycle or something. <laughs> He's Frankenstein. He's afraid of fire. <laughs> you, you know. You, well, I actually kind of am, based on my complexion. I can't get too close. Yeah. To me. <laughs> We're all kind of afraid of fire. No one's like, "Yay, fire! Let's run through it." Generally, I mean, some if people a fire, are. Fire! You're but... like, "Oh shit, fire!" Friday some people morning. are, but it's really something you only do once. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I, uh, think, right. I think that the truth is that it hasn't been a church in 10 years the truth <laughs> is that the lies are afraid of fire all right abby hit it with us two truths and a lie here we go all right first statement every car i've ever owned has had a manual transmission okay oh. like that second statement i was a junior olympian in the sport of fencing 
Okay. And third, uh, despite having been an ER doc for more than a decade, I have only ever removed one rectal foreign body. <laughs> okay. It's got to be a lie. You've had, had, had to remove a lot of them. I can imagine. I think she actually removed a fencing sword. <laughs> Not recommended. Safe, sane, and consensual, consensual please. Um, I, I do believe the fencing thing is the truth because only people who are that advanced in fencing would call it a sport. <laughs> it's a sport? What are you talking about? How's that not a sport? Ping pong's a fucking sport. It's a, it, it's a, it, yeah, oh. ping pong's an activity. Fencing's a sport. <laughs> Sometimes I do sport. jokes. It's guys. the only one I'm good at. Okay, ping pong. Sometimes a I do sport. jokes. Okay. <laughs> when? I do. You I do. Baseball think... when you were twelve and everyone else was eight. That doesn't matter. Okay, so I think I'm going with. I think you're right, Steve. I think the fencing is real. Uh, I think the doctor thing is real, actually. Uh, I think she's had I think she's had a couple cars that were not manual transmissions. I'm going the manual transmission because uh, I've tried to have manual transmissions my whole life, and I've had two cars that didn't just because that's how it worked out. So I don't think it's possible. All right, so that's the one I think is a lie. Is the first one, Steve? What, what did you figure yours? Uh, I think the third one is a lie. Um, I think the fencing mm -hmm. one. I think the way she said sport of fencing made me think like, okay, that is that is like what the official government body would call it. Like that's that's like the fencing association of America or whatever the hell it's called. Here, let me um, ask you a question. Uh, real quick, Abby. So, so did Trump call you to help with fencing since he knew, he knew you were good at? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not in his uh, contact list. As it okay, well, that's good. That's good. You, Abby, also, by the way, you, you have you a, you, have a to you have a toasty cat behind you. I do. My cat also is enjoying sitting by the fire rather than in the cold portions of the house. Yeah. Where did you say you are again in the world? I'm in the Midwest. In the Midwest. Mm, okay, because Steve I'm, about her address, she's not going to give us the specific yeah. even city. Like, <laughs> not even the state, not even the state. Missouri. Missouri. Okay, because I'm just trying to figure it out. Because I one time got a couple different things removed from my butt in Missouri, and I'm trying to see if. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not you. I think the doctor. Thing no. Was. I think um, she has had an automatic car because what kind of person would choose to drive a manual car or car their whole life? Because it's someone, more modern, it's better. I love manual cars. It's yeah. someone who, it's, someone who, sports car. Yeah, I think someone who drives one once is going to continue that pattern. And also, I think the idea of a doctor who is only for ten years and only removed one thing out of someone's butt i feel like that so that's like a weekly occurrence that's probably and especially with covid people are home bored <laughs> got nothing um, better to do I, can't I, leave the house i yeah. feel like you've probably removed something that had something in it like russian dolls <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with that one as a lie. I think you've you've removed way more than one thing. Okay. Ben, what's your Yeah, I said the doctor thing is bullshit. Okay, Rach, did you vote? I said the car, the manual car. Alright, which one is it? The second one was a lie. I did ah! fence <laughs> in high school and college, but I was never good enough to be uh Olympics at any level. Gotcha. What was the thing you took out of someone's butt? It was a vibrator. Uh, <laughs> and it got you know, lost? It, yeah, it got lost. too far up and they couldn't get it out themselves. <laughs> and uh, actually, I had a, a very young nurse that day. So ER nurses tend to be hard to shock. But I happened to have a very young nurse that day who looked at the x-ray and could not understand how this did what it was supposed to do. So I got to explain how vibrators work to an ER nurse. That was fun. By the is way, it still on? Yes, it was. <laughs> so many things. First of all, if it was still on, it should have been able to find its way out just from the vibrations. <laughs> Second of all, I feel or like was, or was or was, was working its way all the way up to uh, wherever. <laughs> I feel like you took it out, and then the vibrator was like, "Looks like we took a wrong turn at Albuquerque." <laughs> Bro, how can you get it out? Like, you have to push on their like. What you do, you squeeze the stomach real hard. It's you like ever a water trouble? You just... <laughs> hey, Rachel, Rachel, you put a longer one down their throat and you push it out the other side. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, How did you get it out? Uh, 
Wait, Ben, you of all people want details about this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're already, we're already, uh, we're, we're already past deep in vibrators. Yeah. We're, we're already we're elbow already deep there. here. You, you use fingers and lube and forceps, and you get far enough up there to know where the end of it is, and you grab it with forceps, and you pull it out. That's well, impressive because you... that's that's also how you put it up there in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> also, how, how... why 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 four steps? Why not first try one or two, maybe three? <laughs> God damn it, Ben! <laughs> well, you need at least two for it to grab. You can't just do it with one. If you do it with one, it'll just push it up further. It's just a one set. <laughs> <laughs> gotta use two steps at least. <laughs> one step's basically another dildo. <laughs> we use, you ever it see one work. of those like, uh, like those trash grabber things on the street? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that someone walks around like you use one of those. You just oh, wait with the one with the, the one with the spear on it. I don't think that no, no, not no. the spear thing. The, the... <laughs> shit. <laughs> the claw, not the spear. <laughs> Holy shit. That'd be so, a, that'd be a, uh, by the way, Abby, on the, on the chart, do you have it? Do you, like, when you were, when you explain it to the nurse, are you like, this is a dildo and this is a dildo <laughs> <laughs> well, I did attempt to have a, a safer sex conversation with the patient afterwards about, you know, using things that had a flared base so they couldn't get lost. And the person says, never again, never again. I was like, okay, but if you do, no, 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 no. Okay. Wait, so it was so, so far up a, there that that it wasn't even gra there was no grabbable. You had it was the whole thing was in there. Like how far up in your hand were you to, before you? It'd <laughs> <laughs> be so funny if she just pointed to her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's when I call a surgeon. Now, was this person oh. embarrassed by this? Or are they like eh, another day, and another dollar? Is what happened? No, so this person I was profoundly embarrassed about a, a man being there. Uh, and needed to leave before their family members got home from work. So they were like, no, I got to be out of here by this time. And be you like, gotta, yeah, get it so out does the vibrator. I'm leaving at this time so I can be home before anybody knows I had to come to the ER. Get this now, vibrator out of here so I can get out of here. More. <laughs> was it a man or a woman? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> was it covered in tooth? What, wait, wait, maybe I can guess. Was it covered in toothpaste? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I like sorry. the idea hey. that you're like you're like, hey, you shouldn't do this, and the person's like, but and you're like, yeah, that's how this started. <laughs> One time I saw a dildo far so far up someone's own ass, its name was Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just tie a rope to the end you'll never lose it again what are they doing like it's not that hard to put it find a rope and that's why you need the flared base powers that's the you put it at the end of the base <laughs> <laughs> oh i guess you're right if you wouldn't have a flared base the rope could just slip right off all right yeah good call all right yeah, yeah it's like a it's like a dog with a thin head you know leash comes right off <laughs> <Yeah>. oh my <laughs> god I can't turn oh, everyone's yeah. camera off, but I really want to. <laughs> All of a sudden, Taylor switches it, and it's I'll just a. Taylor switches it, and it's just a feed of the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny! Ray in the chat just said you should always have a dog with a flared head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't don't tell us if it was a man or a woman, but is that when you met Taylor? <laughs> didn't get a good look at his face you know <laughs> there's a paper bag over it it was tuesday what do you want <laughs> oh well, that was a good one abby i appreciate that that led to a lot of comedy that's fucking uh, nicely done such a good, abby that was such a good truth we, we, we don't have any questions about the fencing <laughs> Which is like, Look, I figured, I figured no one would believe more. that last one because that's what everybody asks about, or that's the story everybody knows, right? Is uh. like all the weird things that people put up their ass. And for whatever reason, I have only ever removed one. I had one other patient who needed to go to the operating room to remove their foreign body, but uh, I've only well, that foreign one. body. What was that? That was, that that was, was the first patient. 
<laughs> that was that was too far up and had perforated things that should not be perforated. So. What, what kind of was it a deal? Was it a vibrator again, or was it like a matchbox car or something? No, it was. It, I never got to see it because I'm not the surgeon, so it oh. was it was not clear to me exactly. It was uh, it was the last doctor's forceps. <laughs> I know that the dildo story was not related to the fencing story, but before the dildo went up there, did the dildo say hello? My name is Dildo. I killed your asshole. Prepare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, for surgery. Oh. All right. I also like the idea that she's like, yeah, I only ever removed one. I left a bunch in. But I only ever removed one. <laughs> That's what it is. Next time you'll learn your lesson. <laughs> and I do have a colleague who has a Russian nesting dolls story, but... Uh, just because you mentioned that, but uh, holy yeah. shit! A free Whoa. ticket to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume the strategy there is just to open the bottom of the big one and then just remove all the little ones first before. <laughs> I have no idea. I was not there. <laughs> <laughs> that doll really nested, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Zara in the Thank chat just so said Russian it. nesting dolls sound like they're really full of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Rach, what we got coming in? Catch us up. Thank you, Abby. We appreciate it. That was awesome. Thank you, Abby. That was fantastic. Thank you, Abby. I asked the YouTube chat, please make this stop. Send me some emojis or some uh, generals. Por favor. <laughs> <laughs> you said, please make this soft? What? Stop. Stop. Oh, stop. Oh, my bad. <laughs> All this vibrating the butthole talk. I didn't oh, know. wow. Um, do we want to do another one? Another two truths and a lie? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do another one. Jason, you ready? Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right. Let's do this. Get up here. First of all, it just came up. I have Russian nesting owls. <laughs> Keep them where we can see them, Jason. Who gave those to you? Okay, anyway, go. Oh my god. Uh, don't remember. Uh, <laughs> Wait, anyway. did they <laughs> You know what never go, go ahead, Jason. No, you, you the good thing about Alan does is you can turn the head all the way around to take the top off. <laughs> uh I was gonna say don't stick them up there even if they can't see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> what does the what does the owl say before you put a dildo in its ass? Owl allow it. Oh. <laughs> Jason, says, owl, 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 owl. <laughs> Jesus Christ, owl. <laughs> have to go to the hospital. How is it that we have an owl on the episode where all the jokes are about hooters? Hmm. <laughs> 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 all right, Jason, go ahead. All right, uh, number one, two truths and a lie. I am proficient on eight types of musical instruments. Okay. That's eight. Uh, two, I am a wild raptor handler. This one is wild, a wild. Wild what? Oh, raptor. raptor. And number Bird. three, my hobby is drawing on eggs. <laughs> so good. Well, I think wow. you draw on eggs. That's why you watch this show. That makes sense. Uh... <laughs> I feel like such an amateur now that I'm in front of a professional. <laughs> raptors aren't a real thing. That's a dinosaur. So I'm going to go with that one. Well. No, <laughs> raptors as in uh, birds of prey. Don't tell them that. No. Then call what? No, birds of no. prey. All right. Birds it's birds of prey. prey. Church powers. Huh? Where in the world are you? Minneapolis. Oh, okay. All right. So what was the first one? So it's so it's, so it's you you trained birds of prey. You proficient on eight types of musical eight instruments, instruments. Eight instruments, and you draw on eggs. Uh, right. Instrument sounds real. I think eight's a specific number. You would you you know because uh, we made the rule. You can't just lie. It can't be nine or seven. So I'm gonna go. That one's the truth. Uh, the egg thing. I'm thinking you you got look like a guy who would train a hawk. I'm going with you. Don't draw on eggs. That seems weird. Uh, not weird. I'm saying weird for you specifically. <laughs> I have a clarification question. Um, Steve, what's the amount of raptors in the greater St. Paul, Minneapolis area? Seven. Seven? Seven. Um, I think he... God 
damn, this is a hard one. These are really good. I think uh, the musical instruments. Okay. I think maybe he's, yeah, I don't know, but I think that's a lie. I'm going to say the, I'm going to say the eggs. I, I feel like all three of these are true. Are we being fucked with? All three of these <laughs> seem true. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the eggs. I feel I feel like I could picture Jason in a field telling a bird to land on his arm yeah. for some reason. I don't. <laughs> <like that. laughs> yeah, I could get that. Yeah, I yeah. just I hey, feel hey, like hey, Jason. Can you go? Ca let, let me hear a call. <laughs> <laughs> See, if he had done it, he would be—he wasn't a real bird trainer because no real bird trainer would do that. So the fact that he didn't do it makes. Well, me wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the problem: maybe the instruments are a lie because he trains the birds, and then he draws on their eggs. <laughs> God, I think the eggs are from the birds. Oh fuck, Steve! I think you unlocked it. Shit. He trains birds and then draws on their eggs. Huh. And draws on their eggs so that when they give birth, it's a piece of art that literally gives birth. It's the first artwork that ever gives birth. Yeah, yeah Ben actually really likes it because when he gives birth, the artwork is in several pieces. So. <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus, when you kidnap someone's children, they'll do what you say. So that's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the, I'm smash your kid. He's like, all right, fine. I think the egg thing is a lie. He has too much respect for birds to do it. I think the egg thing is a lie. I all think right. the instruments is a lie. I think that the other two seem true. Eggs is too random to make up. I'm a little confused why they've never seen the eggs on air or in a background of yours, but I think the instruments is not true. I think you play so like two for eggs, two for musical instruments. Which one okay. is it? Um, first of all, I told you I could, I could picture that. Yeah, I was well. Technically, University he pictured that. University of Minnesota that. has a Raptor Hospital that's world renowned, and I volunteered there for seven years. Very and cool. And got to handle birds like that. That one I was throwing back into the wild after it spent its young years at the Raptor Hospital. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ben. When you asked me how many uh, how many raptors there were in the greater Minneapolis St. Paul area, what was my answer? Seven. 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 <laughs> <laughs> seven little chipmunks sitting on a branch. It's seven, man. That's the number. Oh, and those are big red eggs. Yes. Oh, 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 shit. Wow. Nice job, Benjamin. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. You like make them look really cool like that. I thought you were drawing on them with a marker. Okay, Take off the um, virtual background and let's see the eggs again. Yeah, those eggs look cool. Or just hold okay, the eggs fully I'll in front of you. the background here. You guys ever see that video where the people raised the, they found like the chipmunk that was hurt and they, the kids raised it for like eight months and then they let it go into the wild and the second they let it go, a hawk comes down and grabs it and takes it away. <laughs> it's one of the funniest things of all. <laughs> oh, those, those are, are cool as so shit. Oh, oh, cool. Wow. The family right, tradition, you know. Ukrainian eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that take it back. Those are gorgeous. Those are cool shit. And and it, me, it, it, look, as someone else who also draws on eggs, I you know those are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the musical instruments was actually a trick question. I am fluent on six, not eight. Oh, uh, see, I told you it all sounded true. It all sounded true. <laughs> Interesting. I also, uh, I'm just curious. Is there a chance on one of those eggs you could draw Daniel Sloss fucking some guy? <laughs> oh, I've actually put the Beatles on it before. I can grab those. Oh, the Beatles. While you're doing that, we're going to see oh, you're hey. getting railed. <laughs> what John happened? Paul, George, and <laughs> Come on, lady. Railed. Let me see. Lady. Put a full, full, put a full, put a full screen, Come on. Lady, you tease. It's yeah, not. You... No, I want to keep you guys innocent. No, no. no. Uh, I want to keep us monetized. Yeah. Yeah, I want to keep you guys. I don't want YouTube to say this is wrong. So dude. we'll cover the nasty bit. Well, it, none of it. None of, it? There's no nudity showing. Yeah, it's just, show just it extremely it. implied. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to see the guy with the mustache's face again while he's kidding. Oh, uh, this is Roscoe McClelland, very talented comedian. Gareth Moore, very talented comedian. <laughs> Uh, Daniel Sloss, very talented comedian. Liam Withnail. He's taking pictures. That guy's taking pictures. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> that's what also, I did this week. <laughs> also, I have a feeling that's not the first time Bowers there said, I want to see the picture. I want to see the guy with the mustache getting railed. <laughs> I said it yesterday before Steve shaved. I was about to say, why do you think I shaved so quickly? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, Lee, you, you got hazard pay for that one. 
Are you going to see the beetle eggs? Where's Jason? Would you see the beetle eggs? Oh, yeah, Jason, let's see the eggs. Yeah. And also, Lady, <clears throat> you were, I hate to tell this to you, but after this show, your first kiss is going to suck. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. She's Don't you know. bad. Those She's are bad beautiful. Ones. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. so cool. Nice. Holy wow. Hell. Oh, man. Do you have an Etsy shop? Oh. And so eggs, those are are those hand painted? Is that what you're doing? Um, it's batik. You, it's dye and wax, so it's kind of backwards painting. Um, J- Jason, did I've they, never been did so impressed it... by something I didn't know existed before. Right? <laughs> like I didn't know this was a thing, and now I'm like, holy shit, those are cool as shit. Yeah, Jason, first of all, the chat all want you to share the pictures of this to the Facebook group, and absolutely. But also, I'm curious, does it make them taste better? Or worse. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, uh, I don't know, in some countries or places, it's acceptable to leave eggs out, you know, and not refrigerate them. And I blow them out. They got holes in them. So after a couple of days, they start turning green inside. So never eat eggs that aren't refrigerated. That's that- good so, so, so what we want to say is don't put a vibrator at your butt unless there's a string on it or it has a flared base and don't eat eggs like that on the counter for four days. Okay, this has been a good, uh, it's been a good learning episode for us. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say, I feel like a changed awesome. man. Yeah, I'm telling you, I've, I've never been more impressed by something I never heard of. That was, that's fucking cool as shit. And I've never, I, like, that's when you said the egg thing. I'm like, that's weird, but I didn't know it was this cool. Jesus Christ, they're awesome. How do you so display nice the eggs? Do they come on like a little holder? I do have some stands. Like this plastic stand here. And it's an old family tradition that's been passed on. There's eggs that are a hundred years old in our family. Wow. By, by the way, uh Bowers, I've never been more impressed by something I never heard of before. Is actually the best review your show's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cute you think I get reviews. <laughs> I'm a drunk guy walk into the lobby, but yeah, same thing. I'm just glad, glad Dave Adler's not here to realize he needs to collect a different thing. Like he would, <laughs> he'd be all in on collecting fucking painted eggs now. He'd cost him hundred grand. That's a horror anyway. movie. Someone needs to write just the collector. And the other thing I'll about fast. him is, uh, I uh, give a lot of them away. I do demos at like old folks' homes and stuff like that, and give them eggs. So. <laughs> First of all, so don't I do de- sell some of them, but I give most of them away. Don't demolish old folks' homes. They need a place to, to live. Egg in the homes. I think it's actually really nice, Jason, that you give them away because a lot of people in those homes, their eggs have expired. So it's good to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and once their eggs disappear, they have an existential crisis and they don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> They're just a shell that a former self. Let's move on before I keep doing this. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. I just wonder how fast he could draw stuff that comedians say on this show. You know what I mean? Right on the eggs. On the eggs. That's funny. Speaking of drawing stuff, let's do a leading auction. Let's do a leading auction and then the game, I think. Let's do it. What is up for? Oh, sorry. I was just going to say so with the auction, you can um, bid on Steve or Ben's YouTube and in the Zoom chat. On yep. the chat and the piece today is increment. this. Just no. <laughs> no, no, no. I think we are going to be auctioning off the Ben Yonce. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Oh, no. If I'm being honest, I'm still reeling from the fact that Ben thinks that my first kiss would be enhanced by all of this shit. <laughs> ruined by it. Ruined by it, I said. No, I, I didn't think you haven't had a kiss yet. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, that was also. That's the part. She's a 19 year old woman. I have. That, it was not. Of course you have. I mean, I was just judging based on my own life. Yeah. Okay. I've never, I've never been kissed at 19 until his hey, mom, mom bought a hotel room. Can you book me a hotel? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> By the way, uh, I, so I, I did see, uh, yeah, so Josefa's already bid 75. Uh, just, just a reminder um, that you can only bid on this if you are a single lady. So if all the single ladies... <laughs> Wow, I've never looked better. <laughs> All right, so we have 75 for, from Joseph. 75. It's got to be in $10 increments, guys. $10 increments. So we're at 75. 76. <laughs> so you oh, got to go, go 85. Jack's got his background. That's great. Next bid, next bid is, uh, is 85. 
Yep. Anybody got 85? Anybody got 85 for Ben Yance? I love these it pigeons. It did just occur to me that I also have this one we could throw in as a lot if you want. What is that one? Is that the... the... <laughs> I was expecting more laughs. laughs. That's from Rachel's first stand-up set. I like that one. Uh, we're Okay, so we're at 85. Just said 85. So we're at 85. Are we just doing the one or are we going to make it a lot? Let's just do the one for right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, if it's a lot, no. Actually, if it's a lot, Patrick said 200. So let's make it a lot. Fuck it. We're okay. At 200. <laughs> <laughs> we're at 200 we have 210 Listen, by the way it was already w- w- i will say the first time i saw that ben yonce i was thinking that is a lot <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do the slow pan upwards <laughs> buns put in the chat oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, we're at 270. LJ did 250, and Patrick went 270. So we're at 270. And we got 280. 280, is there anything on the YouTube chat there, Rach? We got 280. Uh, I'm just letting them know what the high bids are so far. So we're not up to 280 yet. I just want to point out that Ben's lot was at 76, and then Rachel's in it, and now we're at 270. (laughs) (laughs) That is true. When you add Rachel and stuff, it helps. I feel like... I feel like... If Rachel gets married again, she'll wear the re- wedding ring on her middle finger. <laughs> I would have muted Taylor for that, but what does that do? He barely talks. You know. What I mean? uh, have, uh, this just in: we have Antichrist six one six bid two ninety. Two ninety from the Antichrist. Oh. There you My go. Hero. Patrick's oh already God. at three hundred. Patrick's already at three hundred. So can I just on. talk to Antichrist for a second? Because I'm a big fan. Like you inspire. Every single thing I do on this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Wait, what was it? Anti- Patrick. Anti- Patrick. What Maybe was it. the number? Antichrist. What? Two ninety. Oh, six one six. Antichrist six one six. Okay. There we go. Couldn't get six one five or below. <laughs> well, six 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 was already taken, so it was the closest thing they could do. Uh, I was just curious. <laughs> Yeah, because that's uh, that is the uh, area code in Western Michigan. Um, so I feel like everyone there is though. So and you knew had... that you knew that was the area code for Western Michigan without looking it up too. Which is... I knew it was Michigan. I didn't know where in Michigan. Ooh. Wow, three two feet the Grand Rapids area. Right, LJ, LJ through three twenty five. Patrick went three fifty. I need to tell you really what's wants... happening in the chat. Uncle Randy said, "Can we trust Antichrist to pay though?" And he said, "Oh, I'm always glad to meet a fan." Uh, he says you, you you pay with your soul apparently. <laughs> I'm out, so. Amazing. Patrick's we're, at 350. We're at 350. We got 360. Antichrist. You want to go 666? How about you go 616? There, Antichrist. But we're at 350. We got 350. So we got 75 for the Ben Yance and 275 for the Queen Rachel. So. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse no, me. No, no, there are 76 for the Ben Yance. Thank you. So don't... <laughs> My apologies. 274 for the Queen Rachel. <laughs> Steve, would you hire Antichrist if he was Antichrist 484848? Because he might be willing to trade. By the way, I have bad news about that. 484848 is going away. (gasps) The United States government is eliminating short codes for texting services. So I only have... Two to two to six weeks left, depending on the where the ruling comes down. Wow. Uh, Change it to an actual phone number. Wow. Yeah, it's very sad. It's a sad day. I'm gonna. You guys, can you make sure to come to the funeral? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Bear it with your mustache. Yeah. All right, so we're yeah, three. It's gonna be on <laughs> April eighth, April eighth, April eighth. Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> they'll be out in the the forest outside of the new church, just forage, forage. Uh, it was oh, almost there. It was no. almost there. <laughs> <laughs> ben, 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 don't worry about it. I've been, I've been working on a Ben Yance, ben Yance not, net and ha, not net and Yahoo joke for about 15 minutes. I can't. <laughs> also, Antichrist is a she, by the way. Oh, of course. Well, okay, that makes sense. Uh, are they at 360? Are they at 360? No, no, We're at 350. No, so We're at 350 going once, Patrick. One, 350 going once. 350 going twice. 360 from LJ. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. Rachel. Coming in hot, oh, LJ. Oh, my gosh. 380 oh, for Patrick. 80. He is not Whoa. going away. Oh, my gosh. 380 I feel like, I feel like Patrick had 380 and was just waiting to hit enter. He's just like. I know. He was ready. 400, 400 LJ. 400 from LJ. We're in a battle right now. Oh, my God. 
450. Woo! You said, fuck it, I'm not even going. 450, if it, Patrick. If it raises the money even further, we'll remove the Ben Yonsei drawing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll replace it with this one. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're still the big, we're 450 lj you go 460 antichrist you go 460 oh lj's out and we want to go 460 all right 450 going once 450 going twice give it 10 seconds for the youtube now and, and let me just say while the youtube is catching up uh patrick bidding 450 on these is amazing i will throw in an egg that i draw on so <laughs> Could you give that egg your 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 stripe here and stripe here stash? <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, anything on the chat there, Rachel? No. Sold like no. to Patrick for four fifty. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. <laughs> Woo. Uh, those are two good ones. I like those. I like those. By the way, Zara had a great idea in the chat. I have those. I have those two like road sign size texts. Steve to four eight four eight four eight signs. And so, like, I should, we should auction those. Yes. Ooh, I, can't bring, I won't idea. be able to bring them sh to shows anymore. No. Well, you could, but it wouldn't make any difference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll send them to you. You know, whatever the bid is, just double it for shipping. Those things are fucking big. So. <laughs> <laughs> or triple it and I'll bring them to you. Uh, anyway. Uh... <laughs> so, are we ready for the game? I think we're ready for the game. Let's play this game. I oh, know I've got there. some generals first. Okay, do some generals and let's play the game. Pam Brown sent in three emojis. One is a cock, one is an ass, and one is uh it's a taco. <laughs> I know what that's was an eggplant, a peach, and a taco, and she was just saying she was in the mood for interesting. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Eggplant tacos with peach salsa? I'm the only one? All right, fine. That's, I don't like that. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm not putting anything near the peach again after Abby's story. I'm, 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 I'm nervous about the peach right now. I'm a little scared about the yeah, peach. What if it was an actual eggplant? Someone's like, I misunderstood the emoji. I'm really sorry, but I misunderstood. Yeah, I'm gonna, if I'm going to put an eggplant in my mouth, I'm not going to put it in my ass, Steve. That's not <laughs> We also had. Uh, bah, 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 bah. By the way, Barrett, there's a lot I would put in my mouth that I would not put in my ass. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just eggplants okay. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I'll put in my mouth, I'll put in my ass. That's a rule. I think. That's, probably... <laughs> That's the title of Bowers' uh, motivational speech. <laughs> That's why I can wear pants without pockets. Oh <laughs> it's also if Bowers gets a lot of free meals, they're like, you know what? It's on the house, buddy. Just leave the wallet where it is. Oh, God. The sock in my pocket. <laughs> the sock in your pocket? I have no idea why it was. That's from laundry. Um, uh let's see so anna hood sent in five bucks and said for rachel and it was an emoji with a hand give me lots of money says you deserve this nice <laughs> and then techniques ow wow bow how see a doctor patow bow <laughs> <laughs> i think you would you would lose a lot of weight if you only put things in your mouth that you would also put in your ass and it's a pretty good diet probably you probably lose a lot of weight <laughs> making that choice anyway <laughs> We also have... You would only eat cylindrical things. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> keto. It's all hot dogs and sausages and stuff. Be like, I'm specifically on a <laughs> celery, carrot, and hot dog diet. <laughs> and Zara awesome. would still have sparkling teeth. Oh. <laughs> but I, would, I wouldn't put celery or carrots in my mouth, Steve. That's the problem. That's the problem. With, that's where that falls down. It's got to be both. Drumsticks. <laughs> drumsticks, cool, but not a yeah, not thighs and breasts. It's too big. But drumsticks, yeah, you, you gotta put a little in first. Don't put the big in first. What are you crazy? Yeah, yeah, you flip it upside down so it has a flared base. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Bowers, I'm never going over to Wing Night at your house again. <laughs> By the way, guys, hot tip: vintage ladies, flared base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending mine back. 
apologize. That's why. That's why I was sent the ones with protectors, so I can't. Where have... has it been? Oh my god! <laughs> and that's so you don't get a flare up. Oh. <laughs> Tech next shout out to Dr. Abby's hard work. Great show topic. Thank you. Oh my god. And then Razor said, I heard someone in the chat asked if Miss Zara is married. I really got to hear her answer. Because <laughs> oh, you look like you're in a wedding dress. I get what you said. Yeah, you, you look Sorry. like you got married on a farm on a Tuesday. That's what that outfit looks like. <laughs> <laughs> you look like so you just getting married, married one of Gump. you would know about that, surely. Well, I would hope. I mean, I'd hope, we all, I'd hope we all be there. But, you know. You're best man, Bowers. You know that. So, that yeah, yeah. no, not married. No. Okay. Well, I'm, personally, I'm, I'm personally offended, so that that hurts. That hurts. No, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the anyway, go. are we caught up? Right. All right, we're caught up. This is the game. Let's play this game. I'm excited for this one. The game today is boob a band or artist. Anything titty related? If you're on the front row, go into the reactions and click raise hands. Let me get out of that sunlight. By the way, I can't believe we're going to do this game after having such a clean show. We're going to end it. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, I only grabbed one unpaid entry. Oh, well. The, this is the unpaid entry that I really liked from Andrew Kerr. The mamas and the tatas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, so front row, let's uh, Jennifer Story. Kick us off. <laughs> He's not like Ben. He's shy. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and right, he's so... muscular, so he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's under the fat, dude. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, so I've got Elton John. Not interested. <laughs> nice. uh, um, I really like that new commercial that they played during the Super Bowl. You know, by that guy Saggy. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> They're laying on the counter. <laughs> song I really liked was uh, Love Shack by the DD-52s. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Shannon? Um, I have Bon Bon Jovi. <laughs> nice. Um, Old Dirty Pillows. <laughs> and Can I just say shame on you? <laughs> And a flock of sea cups. <laughs> uh, it's a great night at the bar when you see a flock of sea cups. You're like, oh, here they come. Yeah, that they're with their hit Iran toward them. <laughs> so I have three. Um, the Droopy Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and the Cran Raisins. <laughs> oh, and, and Katie Perky. <laughs> uh, Tara? Hey, so I have Bone Jugs and Harmony. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Solid Friday night. Um, instead of Motorhead, Motorboat. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I also have a tribe called Breath. <laughs> no. Nice, Jason. Um, whenever Bob Dylan in the band works, I use it. I've used it in the past. It's Boob Dylan and the Bra Band. <laughs> nice. The Village Nipple <laughs> and New Tits on the Block. <laughs> oh, Cass. That's good. Um. I have four, so I'm sending one as a paid entry, but um, I have Stevie Wonder Bra. Nice. Harry nice. uh, <laughs> Underboob and Mr. C Cup. <laughs> Abby? Uh, I have Booby Holly, 
Nice. Booker T and the Double Ds. <laughs> <laughs> and Ariola Franklin. Nice. <laughs> Frankie Nazaro. <laughs> You're on mute there, Frank. There you go. Uh, what am I, let me unmute. Sorry. All right. Okay. I sent in five dollars. I got four. Okay. Um, instead of um, BB Mac, it's Double D Rack. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bert Booby Rack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Titty Swift. <laughs> <laughs> and um. The notorious big old titties. <laughs> oh my! Wow, Taylor's losing it. That's the most I've ever heard Taylor laugh ever. <laughs> notorious Kyle big old titties. Got it. Wow. Wasn't he? Wasn't he? Uh, did, didn't he kill two? Uh, God damn it. Never mind. The joke yeah. I know what you feel like, Steve. I know what you feel like. You make a joke about killing two rack and saying it out loud didn't help. All right. <laughs> well, what do you have? All right. Uh, just uh, got two of them. Okay. Uh, no new people dang. with boobs. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Dolly part. Damn. <laughs> and the cure. <laughs> oh, 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 that's great. Oh, <laughs> wow. Patrick. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I've got three, but after hearing everybody else, it's like I'm not exactly impressed. So, got Pet Shop Chichi Boys. Nice. <laughs> the Human Cassabas. <laughs> and Talking Mamas. Oh, my God. Uh, Jack? All right, uh, for the tattoo artists there, there's Ink Your Breasts. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Eyed Teats. <laughs> Let's get it started. <laughs> <laughs> and a Breasted Development. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God damn, these are good. Uh, um, I have... Um... Boobra Streisand. <laughs> no. <clears throat> the four boob tops because this brought us a fit. <laughs> <laughs> and Justin Boober. Nice. nice. Yeah. Pretend Dave Adler. Really? Um, okay, I got um the heavy petting shop boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you just inspired me with uh, for the Human La Leche League. <laughs> <laughs> and married men there, low. <laughs> I got to say, I like this Dave Adler. <laughs> Miguel. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. yep. Perfect. Um, I hope these are good. I got uh, David Booby. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, lip titties. <laughs> uh, Fleetwood stacked. That's my favorite. <laughs> Elizabeth. <coughs> oh, we can't hear you, girl. Can you hear me now? There, there we go. go. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Hear me now. I started out light with a uh, boob company instead of bad company. Nice. And then, uh, Boob Oyster Cult. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Johnny Cougar Melon Boobs. <laughs> I've got a couple uh, more, but I don't know how to <laughs> comes in. Um, the Moody Boobs. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. <laughs> and uh, Genitits. <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air tonight. <laughs> Bomb. I think that was more of a Phil Collins solo song, but uh, you know what? It still worked, all right. I don't know Genesis's catalog as well. I came up with uh, Brit Titty Spears. 
<laughs> and Marky Mark and the Funky Breath. Nice. <laughs> Brian. Uh, oh, O'Connor. Oh, I, I have the silicones. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Marley and the Melons. Nice. <laughs> and I'm representing Sea Town with Sir Titsalot. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy? With a song about butts. <laughs> and put them on the glass. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I forgot about that one. Oh, we can't hear you, Wendy. 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 Uh -oh. nope. We'll come back to you while you fix it. Uh, Judy? I have just one. Uh, Dave Matthews mammary gland. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Dave Matthews gland. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, Dave they do Alex they do Greg. the boober shoot festival, right? <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. Um just the one. Uh the traveling real boobies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey guys. Can you um, hear me now? Yeah, oh, we got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wendy now, and then we'll get to Texas in a second. I, I paid for three, so I have a few. Fallout Nip. <laughs> nice. uh, the Red Hot Booby Bouncers. <laughs> <laughs> 21 Motorboats. Oh. Guns and Cleavage. Nice. <laughs> Gladys Knight in the tip. <laughs> yeah, awesome. And Lady Tata. Oh, Lady Tata. Oh, that's, that's good. Shit. Tag next. Hey, guys. Um, so Tam stole Justin Boober. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> I got Booby Eilish. I don't know. If nice. uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, little Brawl X. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Uh, somebody needs to riff Old Town Road with boobs. I couldn't figure it out. But um, <laughs> all I got was Old Town Chode, and that doesn't really. <laughs> and uh, Ariana's Grandes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Josepha. Josepha. God damn it. <laughs> Hang on, we're getting there. Oh, I think her internet's real bad. Okay, jo Josepha, can you put it in the chat for us? Um, is there anyone else that didn't raise their hands? Wave at me if you wanna do one on air. Nope. Okay, so these are the rest of them. So Frankie Berman had to leave, but here are his entries. You know what, maybe there won't be his entries. Um, okay, so let me just start with somebody else. So let's go with Jonathan S. Nip, slip, not. <laughs> uh, Jonathan S. Panic at the bra class. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> All right, here are Frankie B's entries. Um, he paid for some as well. So we had the very nippy Hooters. <laughs> yes, there's a band called the Hooters, he said. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine these dragons. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> or imagine dragging these. He had large melons. <laughs> nice. Party B cups. Nice. Uh. Megan training bra. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, instead of they might be giants, tits that are giant. <laughs> uh, tits in the wet t shirts. <laughs> Jonathan S had ace, ace of second base. <laughs> what she wants. Yeah. Yeah. Dave Adler had Lady Tata, uh, nice. Sydney Spears, and Credence Clear Breast Milk Refreshment. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> what was the one right for Adler's race? I, would, I just I want to write that one down. I, I missed. Uh, one. Jonathan asks, Ace of Second Base. That's fucking really good. So good. Meg Begley, in collaboration with Rob, had Marilyn Man Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and they had Wu Tang Clangers. <laughs> clang 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 goes the titties. Ding, ding, ding goes the titties. By the way, my favorite Wu Tang song. <laughs> uh, and Mary L had Mary Jugs Blige. Gus <laughs> oh Walsh, only because the original one sang for Steve Budget Chicken Breast. <laughs> <laughs> Aranka had deep purple lingerie. <laughs> and then she had a uh, hallelujah bra. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say lube bra? Or just, you know what? Go ahead. <laughs> Greg Murphy, Black Rebel Motorboating Club. <laughs> nice. Frankie Nataro, uh, instead of BB Mac, DD Rack. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oingo Boingo, Christina Aguilera gets tits. <laughs> Aguilera tits. It's so hard to say, man. Carl Nippleback. Nice. <laughs> Michelle Lunger had Winona, Winona Jugs. <laughs> nice. Gladys Knight and the tits. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she had oh, so the loving cupful. <laughs> Run VM C cups. Nice. <laughs> Tom Petty and the Backbreakers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh. <yeah>. <laughs> That's <laughs> really <beautiful. laughs> Razor had uh, the Jackson 80085, and that's boobs. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, god damn. And he said he only submitted that because Zara can't sing, so he couldn't submit instead of ZZ Top, Zara Zara Top with her hit song, Sharp Dressed Mams. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Savage, uh, new tits on the block. Nice. Josepha, uh, Josepha had, did you read this one? Uh, game circles around the areola. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry. Circles around the areola. Yeah, yeah and the then, game uh, entry was the was the yeah, okay. Rack of power. <laughs> nice. The door knockers. Nice. <laughs> Passes. Other entry is nine inch nipples. <laughs> yeah, that's <funny>. yeah. <laughs> Gus Walsh, my two favorite music comedians, Kristen Tease and Daniel Juggleton. Oh my nice. god. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie, ZZ Topless. Ah, ah, there's a lot of good ones. Pam, Booba Stank. Nice. <laughs> Miguel, Huey Lewis and the Boobs. <laughs> Denise Cook, Nipple Back. Nice. Yep. Uh, Anna Hood, TLC, Mamory, Tavern. Uh, I think. Uh, TLC quite... is one. Okay, TLC is one. There's no comma. And then Mamory Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and those are all of them, folks. All right. Wow, there are a lot of great ones. Holy shit. I really like Bone Jugs and Harmony. I re Old Dirty Pills is funny. Uh, let's see. Ink Your Breasts was really fucking good. That was great. The Jackson 80085. Uh, <laughs> God damn, there's a... Tom Petty and the Backbreakers. Ace of Second Base is really good. It's, for me, it's between Ace of Second Base, John Cougar, Melon Boobs, but I think I got to give it to Notorious Big Old Titties just because that made me yeah. laugh so hard. <laughs> and I go with that one. So, Frank, I'll give you that. Uh, Rach, what's your vote? God damn. I love New Tits on the Block, Notorious Big Old Titties. Um, I want to give it to uh, Panic at the Bra Clasp. <laughs> That's a really funny one, too. I like that one a lot. Ben. Oh man, so good. And I have to leave like pretty much right now. So forgive me before I tell you my vote. Just please come see my show tomorrow night. Nowhere. Leave off the top. Undercover Lover Sunday or my headlining on February 26th at Nowhere. Um, cool. After my vote, I got to bounce. I'm so sorry. Um, but I loved Carrie Underboob. 
Loved Flock of <laughs> Sea Cups early, but so good. Bert Booby Rack. Dolly Part Dam was hilarious. <laughs> Johnny Cougar Melon Boobs. Imagine These Dragons was fantastic. <laughs> but I got to give it to Ace of Second Base. Perfect. Yeah. I like that a lot. Steve. See you guys. Oh my God. Hey, there were so many good ones. Um, I My runner up is Tribe Called Breast. Um, just because, <laughs> I mean, I'm a huge Tribe fan, and I feel like Tribe Called Breast members would be Fife Biggie, uh, Jero B Cup, um, Adi Shahid Mohammed, and Q Nip. But that said, <laughs> uh, I'm giving it to Ace of Second Base. It was a creative right. way of approaching this. Very, very good. I, I loved it. That is the winner. Claim your prize at sdscshow.com. Wow. Nice. Real quick, uh, honorable mention because I fucked one of them up and I'm giving him two entries tomorrow. It was Christina Agu Large Tits. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Rachel, do you have any? Oh, yeah, I do. Just a couple. Um, I had Twisted Nipple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's it. That's it. Cool. Steve, you got any? Uh, just boob two. I have four. How many okay. you got? I, I just have, uh, I just have boob two. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've got, uh, let's see what I've got. Tenacious D cup. I've got <laughs> <laughs> Conway titty. Got the plain white tits. <laughs> <laughs> and Okay, go ahead and touch him. <laughs> That's Barry's right. favorite strip club. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Hip Hugger in Kokomo, but yes, you're right. Uh, okay, it's time for the song, and Ben's not here, so it's Lady Doodle time. It's Lady Doodle time, and she's going to draw people fucking each other, even though they're dudes. Go. <laughs> no, they're dudes. <laughs> I'm so wow. sorry I'm late for the hearing. I am excited. In my case, I'm ready to go forward. <laughs> to make it clear, I'm not a cat. All right. Bully for good. <laughs> By the way, that also looks like it means forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> then I have, what do you want me to do? <laughs> if Ben is the hungry character in every cartoon <laughs> have fun in Schittsburg <laughs> it looks so sad what are friends for but to take the piss out of every life decision yay <laughs> no mustache in loving memory, truly a hero to cops around the world. Oh my god. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, to end it, I have, I'm going to need to see how a doctor pachow bow. <laughs> I'm walking away. <laughs> god. Oh. No. At Art for My Heroes on Instagram. I just Uber eats. I Uber eats fried chicken, and now I don't want it. <laughs> hey, lady, was that a drum roll? Anyway, I'm. I'm... <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> All right, we did it, guys. We made it to the end of another fucking fan Friday. What a bunch of fun! Uh, yeah, that was so fun. I. I... <laughs> That was great. Uh, you can find me at Bowers Comedy, and next Wednesday, uh, the 27th, I believe, is uh, our next podcast, which is... No, it's not the 27th. What the fuck? Oh, no. I'm bad at dates. Uh, next... Uh, That's what your first 17th, 17th. I knew there was a 7th. The 17th is our next podcast with Katrina Davis, me and Rachel doing... Is it called our... a Zoom live show? Yeah, it's called a digital Zoom show or whatever we're calling it. Yeah, but I mean, why don't you want to call it a podcast? I don't understand. That's what it is. Yeah, it's... Because we're not like uh, we're not putting it out anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, we can call it a digital Zoom show, I guess. We have a digital Zoom show on the seventeenth. How's that sound? Uh, with with Katrina Davis. So buy your tickets for that and or join our Patreon. Uh, Steve, what you got coming up? Uh, on the fourteenth, I have a show. Oh, that's Valentine's Day. 
Uh, I have a show at Nowhere. It is a director's commentary show where uh, I sit around with some of my comic buddies that I normally take on the road, and we dissect some of my most popular clips and make fun of them live and take a whole bunch of questions. It's very interactive, and it's a lot of fun, so check that out. Very cool. Right to then catch up on before we get out the audio. Yes, we do. We had Josepha. Josepha. I'm going to fuck that up every time. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's, I, there, I think there's two entries here, but there's no, so grateful nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Little teat featuring Chi Chi's uh, Korea band. <laughs> oh, Chick Korea. Korea. Chick Korea. Thank uh, you so much. Nice. Nice tribute. And then LJ Mudd sent in 20 bucks and said, General, the show starts out with Steve telling people not to hire Leedy for dirty artwork. Then SDSC has a show like this. Poor Leedy, $10 <laughs> tip for the show and $10 for poor, poor Leedy. <laughs> thanks, LJ. We're caught up. Awesome. All right. Audience, thanks so much for being here. Another super fun fucking fan friday we'll see you tomorrow oh, yeah. at noon pacific noon pacific but we love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow rach anything before you get out of here yeah i just want to say thank you to all those that stopped by and uh watched the uh, first origin stories our maiden voyage with Kristen key we found out some really crazy stuff about her that um i'd never heard and it was just fascinating to me because i'm such a fan mm -hmm. of the comics that we have on the show and to get to hear their stories and where they came from is just really cool so i'm grateful for you bowers and steve and ben for letting us do this but this is um yeah I'm really grateful for the show i'll see you guys tomorrow see you tomorrow uh yeah it was super fun and i appreciate all the guys that came all the people that came out and we had really great reviews i appreciate that too that made us feel good about all the stuff sure. you guys put in the chats and then on the, the the facebook pages and stuff so we appreciate that uh yeah we'll see you tomorrow uh oh wait no i have to do this as bad only oh, fans God. live stream it's great to be here. <laughs> 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 Ben, you're making me hungry. You're making me hungry, Ben. You got to stop doing this. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we'll end this with dignity. Uh, first of all, uh, shout out to, uh, to Bowers and Rachel. I've heard wonderful, wonderful things about origin stories. So congratulations mm -hmm. on that being such a huge success. Um, and also, I realized I'm the recommendation for Ben move to the east coast you can wake up three hours later for shows so. <laughs> he'd still be late that's the yeah, yeah that's the advantage <laughs> yeah, he'd... Well, the record, I didn't say that that was someone else yeah <laughs> anyway i know i have to close this with dignity so let me take the filter off all right here you go uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen another one of the books thanks for joining us and uh i i don't have weird props to show you this is a weird end i just have to say goodbye Hopefully Watch there's nothing in your ass. Bye. <laughs>